Hayes the Empire, and Geobosting Empire, and Baxter Boxing. Crazy stuff, man. Floyd Mayweather continued thrashing Javante St. Davis, man, by saying some devastating words that really can make it or break it for Floyd Mayweather, right? The guy said he, he will always favor David Haney because he's focused and Javante St. Davis coming right from him. Wild stuff from Floyd Mayweather, man. <sighs> you know, I talked about yesterday. I gave both sides uh, a couple days ago how Floyd Mayweather could be making a big mistake or he can't be, you know? And in this, in this case right here, man, it seems like Floyd Mayweather is going further down the rabbit hole and trashing Javante Tank Davis, man. And the thing is, the thing I mentioned so messed up is Floyd Mayweather is getting money from Javante Tank Davis, you know? Floyd Mayweather promotes Javante Tank Davis. And why would you tarnish your own brand, right? If I give someone a thousand dollars, you know, I'm not gonna do things that, that that will compromise the money I gave the guy. You know, that's what Floyd Mayweather is doing. He he put money into Javante Tank Davis and he's trashing his own uh, brand. I, and he's trashing the investment he made in Javante St. Davis, which which doesn't make any sense, you know. Floyd Mayweather did not sign David Haney, so it doesn't make any sense that he's putting so much stock behind him unless he plans to sign him. But as of now, he did not sign David Haney, so it makes no sense to even promote a guy like that. And like I said, at the same time, you're trashing your own brand, right? Maybe Floyd Mayweather thinks this is some kind of reverse psychology. Maybe Javante Tank Davis would take his career more seriously. But Javante Tank Davis, man, he's had weight problems and things like that. But his career has been all flying colors. The guy is a big deal, right? He can sell in Atlanta. He can sell in, um, he can sell basically anywhere he fights with a high black demographic. You know, that that's his main demographic, African-Americans. And he can sell out anywhere in, 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 uh, in America, really if he chose to, right? He already fought in Atlanta, and I think he fought in Detroit too. I forgot where it was, but he fought another highly uh, uh, black concentrated place where he sold out again, right? The guy is a superstar. Devin Haney, if he tried to fight in Atlanta, I doubt he'd sell out, he just doesn't have that star power. You know, a lot of people wanna believe that you can just be a humble fighter and that things should come to you because you're humble. And, you know, sometimes that's not the case, man. Sometimes you got to be out there. You got to be cocky. You got to be, you know, flashing money around for to people to get people to notice you. You know, that's what Javante Take Davis is doing. And it's worked for him. It's worked for him with flying colors. Furthermore, man, the guy has fought some heavy hitters in his uh, career, like Jose Pedraza. He beat Pedraza better than Lomachenko did because he stopped him, right? And Lomachenko struggled with him and he went to decision with the guy. You know, um, Javante Tick Davis has a lot of common opponents um, of people like Lomachenko and, um, you know, things like people like Terrence Crawford with UFC Gamboa, you know, and Devin Haney, he doesn't have any common opponents to any big stars, right? He doesn't have any com common opponents with Ryan Garcia. He doesn't have any common opponent with, with Lomachenko. He doesn't have any common opponents with J Javante Tick Davis. He doesn't have any common, common opponents to any superstars, right? And that's, that's David Haney's problem. I think he's a good fighter, but, you know, I remember one time when uh, KSI versus Logan Paul happened, right? Two internet superstars, right? They, they actually boxed each other. David Haney was an undercard, and he didn't look good at all. I went to decision, and he was getting touched up in that fight, you know? So, in my opinion, you know, the guy is a good fighter. He's a solid fighter, but is he all Floyd wants him to be? No, but when he listened to Floyd, yeah. I think Floyd just wants a lot of control, and Devin Haney is easily controllable. Javante Tank Davis isn't, you know? Uh, the thing is, Agent Boner introduced Javante Tank Davis to Floyd Mayweather, you know? So Floyd Floyd, and Javante Tank Davis, is that's a new relationship. But Devin Haney, Devin Haney knew Floyd his whole life. You know, they've been he's been training at Floyd, the Floyd camp for uh, forever, you know? Uh, they've, been, they've been cool before uh, Devin Haney even signed with anyone. So that being said, man, you know, Floyd Mayweather might have some kind of uh, intangible attachment to Devin Haney. He doesn't have a Javante Tank Davis, you know, and and maybe that's showing his bias. But I don't know why, but Floyd loves doing that. He loves getting someone under his wing and then getting the next big thing to uh, back him and, and to, like, try to get underneath his skin. Like, when Adrian Bonner was with calling, you know, Floyd Mayweather big bro. Next thing you know, Floyd Mayweather was with Errol Spence when, when, uh, <laughs> when Bruno took that loss. 
you know what I mean? Crazy stuff, man. And it seems as though Floyd's doing the same thing with Javante Tank Davis, man. Floyd Mayweather is sitting there. We know Javante Tank Davis is a superstar, but he's all of a sudden start training David Haney. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense. And usually Floyd does it when he sees a fire on his way down, but Javante Tank Davis is still on his way up. So I, I don't know why Floyd will all of a sudden pivot to uh, Devin Haney. I just don't know. Maybe he knows the contracts. Maybe he knows that the deal is going to end with uh, top rank soon, or I mean, Eddie Hearn soon, because Devin Haney signed with Eddie Hearn. Maybe he knows that's ending soon, and maybe Devin Haney wants to move on to bigger and better things. But as of now, it's not making any sense. It's not making any sense. And this is the wrong way to go about trying to make Javante Tank Davis be a better fighter by looking at somebody else. You know, um, if you want to look at the right way to do things, look at Al Heyman. He has a whole stable of fighters, right? He doesn't play favorites, man. You just got to fight your way to the top. Facts, right? The thing with Floyd Mayweather is he wants to do what, you know, De La Hoya is doing with Ryan Garcia and, and, and Canelo Alvarez. He wants to do what Eddie Hearns doing with Anthony Joshua. And he wants to do what Bob Arum did with previous uh, fighter, superstar, Manny Pacquiao. He wants to have with that one fighter to bank off of and to like carry him in his Mayweather promotion. And that's just not the way to do things these days. You know, you want to have a stable fighters. You don't want to just want to have one big superstar. And Floyd Mayweather could have had Javante Tank Davis and Devin Haney. You know, there's <laughs> he could have had both of them. But instead, he's, pit, he's pitting one against the other. And I don't think that's necessary uh, for, 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 for Floyd Mayweather. He doesn't. He didn't need to do that, right? That, that that's always a losing strategy because at the end of the day, your fighter will lose, right? Manny Pacquiao took L's eventually, right? With under Bob Arum, uh, Anthony Joshua got stopped against Andy Ruiz, right? De La Hoya, uh, Canelo Alvarez lost to Floyd Mayweather, right? I mean, you're gonna get, you're gonna take an L eventually. So betting all your chips on one basket is just not a good idea, and it's old hat, you know, it's old hat. You wanna. You want, you want to see stables of fighters. That's how you really get your promotions off ground by having a whole stable of fighters and not playing favorites. Just having a deep, deep brand where so many fighters, you can't play favorites because everyone's elite, you know? So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out with Floyd Mayweather and Javante St. Davis, man. I think Floyd's making a big mistake, man, by saying well, I don't, <laughs> by saying something like, I will always flavor Haney over Javante St. Davis. That's, why would you do that for? I don't know crazy stuff let me know how you guys feel about that like comment subscribe it's the empire geobossing empire bitch geobossing empire